Good morning, travelers. Today marks <clears throat> a very special day. Day seven, one week on the road. It is, as you won't be surprised to know, really goddamn cold this morning. I woke up in the middle of the night and was like, oh, it's not that cold. This place must not be quite as cold as the middle of the desert, because, like, trees and the environment and stuff all, you know, have some role in the temperature. But... It's really fucking cold right now. Like, way colder than it was over the last few days. At least it feels like it. And the shitty part is, because I'm in kind of this alpine valley, it's gonna take way longer for the sun to reach down here. So, I don't really know if I wanna try and get up and start moving, which is probably the best idea. Or if I wait till there's a little bit of sunlight to start giving me some solar power. But either way, we're up and at them at 7 a.m. Jersey Shore have turned all their houses on. I don't discriminate against a lot of people, but I do discriminate against people in RVs. Heavily. Airstream, different thing. Fifth wheel, different thing. Renovated camper van, different thing. An RV, get the fuck out of here. If I wanted to stay in an RV, I would have gotten a hotel room. Probably would have cost me way less in the long run as well. Those big ass things cost as much as a house. So, uh, I'm gonna... So I think I'm gonna chill here for a little bit more. Kind of wait for my self to wake up. If you couldn't tell, I'm not actually really awake yet. Uh, and then I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna start breaking camp. I'm gonna eat the fuck out of those avocados and uh, start making our way to Claremont. So, rise and grind, baby. Oh my god. Ooh, man, those boots are cold. Mm. Fuck. I think one of the most controversial videos I've ever made was my avocado giant ground sloth video. You may not think that that's a very controversial topic. The comments I had there ranging everything from this is wrong to you are directly contributing and endorsing slave labor by eating avocados. It really got a little bit of everything. And now while the ethics of avocado harvest are undeniably terrible. I think that it's just further proof that you really cannot do anything in life without somebody having a fucking problem with it. Something green. Rather than that fucking Campbell soup. I dream of the day on this trip when I come across a grocery store. That's gonna be so nice. Gonna get maybe some fruit, maybe some corn, some lettuce mayhaps. You know, I used to hate these fucking things. I think it was the texture. There's not a lot of food that I don't like because of the taste, mostly because of the texture. If you told me three years ago that I'd be eating avocados straight out of the out of the avosi, I would have told you that you're full of shit. Alright. I'm gonna enjoy my other avocado in peace and quiet, but I'll start breaking down the tent. It's a boy. Well, it's uh, definitely starting to warm up. Got rid of the long underwear, and now gotta get off the sweater. Uh, but we're almost ready to hit the road, and a pretty good time, too. It's 8.25 right now. I did very little dillying and or dallying this morning, and so I was able to get everything together in pretty short order. Well, that's a nice truck. I'm just finished putting the rest of this stuff on the bike. I anticipate we'll probably be on the road by nine, uh, and then we're gonna head into <laughs> into town. Uh, it's, I don't even know, maybe an hour and a half till we get there, something like that. There's a cafe there, allegedly, called, I think, Purple Onion. 
hoping it's open Mondays. Maybe there'll be a post office and I'll probably rendezvous there. It's within walking distance of the ghost town. And so I'm hoping to uh, maybe drop anchor there, ask a couple questions, see what my best plan of approach is. Is it beeline straight through the woods with my backpack, try and ride up the road, you know, leave stuff in the cafe and travel light? I don't really know yet. But I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff on the bike and uh, we'll be on the road momentarily. Time to get up out of Dodge. Man, I got so much shit under this jacket. I'm bulky as fuck. All right, let's make tracks. He sure is. How are you doing today? Good, yourself? You know, sun's shining. I'd say I'm doing wonderful. No wind. Oh, I know. And after the last two days, I felt like I was in a hurricane. Oh, all right. You going, you going I am. Wow. It's a long way. Big country. Which way are you headed? West. You're going west, huh? Yeah. So on my way now to uh, the Sierras. Well, east side of the Sierras, long way to go. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have some stories. <laughs> oh boy, will I. I already do, I've only been out here a week. <laughs> oh, is that right? Where'd you start from? I started from Albuquerque, so I've oh. just been doing the last week around New Mexico, um, but I'm headed down to um, Mogollon, is it? Are you going? Oh, so you're gonna go south. I'm going south, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Muggy, are you gonna ride up to the, to the old town? Yeah, I sure am, you know it. That's a fun ride. I'm excited. Is it open? Can you get up there? Yeah, it's. It, you can get up there. Now, I don't know. They, there is a cafe there, but I don't know if it's open. Okay, cool. That's um, good to know. So, but in Alma, if you do get hungry, I assume they're open. There's a nice little restaurant in Alma. Okay, that's good so, to know. Yeah. I just saw that on the map. I'll have to keep my eye on that. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, going to try and stick to the mountains, though, because I know I'm, I'm racing the heat if I'm going to be getting through that southern part of California. Yeah, you're right. Especially wearing all this. <laughs> yeah. Where are you coming from, sir? I live here. Wow, you got a beautiful <laughs> part of the country, my friend. This is lovely. Oh, I, I know. Well, I lived in Albuquerque for 30 years. Oh, nice. You so, did your time in the city. <laughs> yeah. I had to get out. I, I feel that. I'm from Boston originally, and oh, I'm like, yeah. I, I, it was good for when I was there, but I'm like, I've had enough of the city, so... <laughs> Safe travel. Thank you very much, sir. You as well. Enjoy your ride.
I sure am. There we go, decoy door. Keep me on my toes. Thank you. <laughs> I know you're, you're posted sentry there, waiting for it. How you doing? Good. How are you doing today, Miss? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Have a great day. Hey, you as well, Miss. Thank you very much. Trying to boil water for this macaroni is going to probably be a pain in the ass because the sternos are slow. There's my postcard for tonight. I've got myself a snack. I just had another encounter that I wish I had recorded, but I just went over to the porch over there and uh, was talking to the people on it, um, and they were telling me all the stories of this town, you know, like there's a woman who's like 80-something who used to work at the company store that was in the mining town, um, and apparently the ghost town is on private land, which sucks, but apparently the person who I was talking to's sister runs the historical society and would probably know whose land it's on. So there's a chance I could still try and get to it, but I'm going to try and find a hotel to stay in. She said apparently there is a hotel right down this little one street that has been restored, a bunch of old timers working at it, um, and uh, apparently there's a ghost there and everything. And uh, so I'm definitely going to have to check that out. And so I think I'm going to get this food and then I'm going to make my way down there, see if I can get a reservation for tonight. And who knows, maybe two nights if I feel like there's enough to film here. So I'm just waiting on my burger. Hello. 
Good afternoon, how you doing? Good. Oh, rocks, my favorite. <laughs> Love rocks. Mine portal. Damn. Huh. High voltage transformer. Look at that. Back when things were made in the United States. Oh my god. What a ride. We open for business? Oh yeah, there was some cool, found some mines that were all covered up down there. Didn't get to check out the hotel. They got a, like a chain across, says private. Don't want to step on any toes walking through there, so. I don't know what the deal is there at the moment, but I may give it a few and then try it later. <laughs> so, <laughs> Have a little fun anyway. How's it going, Ryder? You good? Yeah, I uh, put my light on. Oh. <laughs> Ain't that the way. Yeah. You look pretty loaded down there. Oh, uh, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> She's real heavy. Where are you coming from? I live, I just live like 30 minutes from here. It's a little 250. Ah, I see. Well, you made it up that hill. Oh, yeah, no, it's great. Anything up to 55 is fine. And I actually bought it for my daughter, but she hasn't picked it up yet. Oh, really? Yeah, she said so she wanted to learn to ride. Hard to be. Something happened. What's she saying? Oh, of course, it is. But I do have the directions for it. I... How's it going? Do you have to turn it? Turn it on? Or does just the. No, I wonder how it is. Or... Let me see if my headlights go on, please. Your headlights on. Oh, okay. Hold that up. Yep. There she is. Yay, Kay. Nice. All right. You live to ride another day. Yeah, I, I wish bikes still had uh, kickstarts. I know, really. That's the one thing I, I, I haven't even had a chance to try one. Every bike in my lifetime has all been uh, starters. And batteries are really reliable, but. Yeah. There you go. Well, hey man, you ride safe. What's your name? William. William Milo. Milo, nice, nice to meet you, you sir. Yeah. You be safe out there? Yep. Well. Did a bit of an impasse. I've been walking around Mogollon or whatever this town is called. It's so goddamn windy again. I've been walking around for like two hours. It's a cool place, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to the ghost town, which really sucks. It's on private land owned by a Canadian mining company, which normally for a travel like this is a massive green light. It's owned by a company that's literally a country away and all the way on the other side of this one as well. I would just waltz right up there and do my thing. But the problem is now I am a social media figure and the reason I'm going there is to film all of it and put it online. And I can promise you one thing, and that is that a Chinese, a Chinese, <laughs> that's telling. And that is that a Canadian mining company can afford way better lawyers than I can. So if I make a video, no matter how educational it is, of me <laughs> breaking and entering, 
uh, that's a pretty good case against me and I just don't want to have to deal with that so unfortunately it means I'm gonna have to skip it which really sucks because for every other trip that I've done that would be I'd be right there but I can't it's just a bummer I was so fucking excited for that one that one looks so cool apparently literally like five years ago it wasn't you could just go right up to it but now it's all owned by this company and so you can't anymore and they also the I, I was trying to stay at the hotel because the hotel seems really cool but I can't get in there either there's a little gate across it that says private and I was talking to the woman at the general store and she said that the uh, they were taking a day off after Labor Day to rest and recover, which makes sense, but just kind of a bust, which I'm pissed about because I was really excited about that one. But I guess it all comes out in the wash because the whole next part of this trip is all going to be logging and mining towns, so I guess I just go back down the mountain and try and find a place to stay. I may try and find a uh, hotel to stay at tonight or a motel. They recommended a guest house down in Alma, and uh, it's got like a room for a hundred bucks, and I'm okay with that. Take a shower, I have my meeting I need to do tomorrow, and then on the road. All right, back on the road. Well, that over there is where we were trying to get. There's a whole town tucked up in the mountains. You can see one of the kind of metal roofs sticking up. It's just all on private land. Fuck. Damn it, I was so excited for that one. That one was gonna be a fucking crown jewel. Okay, well, there'll be more. We're gonna go to Alma now and regroup. So here I was, I think I was gonna film something, but it's fucking hurricane hunker down behind the bike. There's less wind. I'm trying to not get my license plate in it so Jean Franco has to edit even less. No luck at the Alna house. Very weird little spot around there. There was a restaurant with some enormous political posters outside. And I was like, I think I'm gonna keep on moving. So I kept on moving. And uh, now I'm by a little spot called the Hidden Spring Inn and the Adobe Cafe and Bakery, which is just this little spot that I passed on the way here. I had to backtrack which I'm okay with because I went up that really beautiful windy road again. I didn't film it because I wanted to just enjoy it and my GoPro's out of battery. Um, but I'm here, I stopped, I got a coffee and a cinnamon roll and I'm gonna push like another 40 minutes um, into Arizona. Um, and that's gonna do it for New Mexico. Which I'm bummed, there's a lot of sites I didn't get to see. Not all of them I gave in my fucking college try, but like it's just a pain in the ass when you kind of have a plan in mind and some of the things you can't do. But that's part of doing the travel. I'm trying to learn to be flexible, you know? So I'm gonna have a little bite to eat here and uh, then we're gonna press on to Luna Lake or something like that. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna be filming because my GoPro is dead and so I need to charge it. Um, and so I guess you get to fast track. So welcome to Luna Lake. This is the uh, cafe that we're at currently. It's real nice. Here's my duds. Got my enormous cinnamon roll, a new toothbrush bag and a nice coffee. Man, I've never been happier. Well, as luck would have it, not only is there a campsite here, but there were enough campsites that I was able to take my pick. And so, I was able to get this really nice one on the outskirts. Overlooks the lake, got this nice meadow behind me. I'm gonna put my tent down over there. It's... I can't find a catch yet. There is a little sign on there that says that it is reserved, but the reservations are for a couple days from now. I think this is home for the night. And I even crossed over a uh, time zone. So it is now 429 instead of 529. Not that that matters because the sun is in pretty much the same place it was on that side of the time zone. Um, but you know, it feels like I bought myself some time. So now, gonna take a second catch my breath and then I guess we're gonna make camp and this is the first place the first campsite that I've been at this entire trip that has service and not only does it have service it has all four bars of uh, 5g so it looks like I don't even have to go somewhere tomorrow to do my meeting I can just do it from here and I also have to do time zone conversion what time is 11 o'clock Eastern and Arizona time fucking something I don't know Glad to be done, and I'm glad I pushed a little farther. It feels good to have a little bit of mileage under me. Well, I'm at the camp post. Nice older fella by the name of Ron. Got me all situated at my site here. 
And I even got the uh, morale boosting uh, bonus quest for the afternoon. I got myself some firewood from Ron. This site is real nice. I got super lucky with it. Apparently the whole place was completely packed over the holiday weekend, which I am not surprised about in the slightest. Not only is this site like right on the edge, kind of isolated from everything else, but it also has a path that leads directly down to the lake through that beautiful scenic field. And if that ain't prime real estate, I don't know what is. Ready for this transition? When I asked Ron how much the firewood was, he sort of grimaced and said, $10. And I said, Ron, there's plenty of places that I could go where I could get firewood for a lot less than $10. But anywhere that I went where I could do such a thing, they wouldn't deliver the firewood to me. And so you can bet your ass I paid that $10. And Ron, God bless his soul, came over here in his pickup truck and dropped this wood right at my campsite. Now, at first I thought, Milo, you're going a little bit overboard tonight. This campsite's $20, the wood was another 10, I'm gonna have to go get food. And then I thought for a second, I thought, that place I was looking to stay tonight, if I did end up staying there, it would have been about 100 bucks a night. Yeah, I get a shower and Wi-Fi, but it's 100 bucks. And every other night that I've camped so far, it's been free. So I think to myself, Milo, what many YouTubers do with their money is fast cars and fancy watches and hype, hype heese, hype houses, plural. So if what you're doing with your YouTube bag is spending $30 to get a little extra firewood and, you know, 20 bucks to spend a night living on the back of God herself, I'm happy with that. That's money I'm willing to spend. Amen to that. Check it out, there's a horned toad. Look at that little guy. I wrote about one of those in my book, The Encyclopedia of the Weird and Wonderful, now available on Amazon. Damn it, where the fuck is my phone? Of course, I don't have the zoom lens on right now. I can take a picture of this little guy. Here I was, thinking I wasn't gonna have time to put the zoom lens on, but it turns out this guy has the IQ of a gourd. Horned toad. Not actually a toad, a lizard. I decided to do a little Googling uh, before going into town to see what was open, uh, and nothing's open. Turns out it all closed at 5, and it's 5.30, um, which I'm not overly bummed about to have a f food, you know? The only thing that would've been nice is a beer, but I'm okay with that one. Um, but the good news is the town that's nearby called Alpine um, actually has some stuff in it. There's like some cafes, coffee shops, things like that. So. Tomorrow morning, I think I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna probably do my meeting here, and then I can actually go have like a breakfast in town. Um, but yeah, for now, I think I'm gonna just sort of settle in. I need to put some chain lube on the bike. I did that um, a few days ago, but I try and do it once every two or three days. Um, so I'm probably gonna do that again. Well, the chain's probably still a little warm. Um, and then we're gonna make a fire and have some dinner. I wanna walk down to the lake first, actually. So I'm gonna finish putting stuff away, then we'll walk down to the lake.
hits them with a little more surface area. Now it's just one of those nights where that's not working. Which means we're gonna do it the fun way. This is a magnesium striker. Shave off a little piece of magnesium and you ignite it. And for about half a second, it burns hotter than the surface of the sun. Really gets shit done. Ooh, well it's sparking. for a bit or we can cook dinner over it. Now go. Well, dinner has been had, dishes have been washed, and that's about it. And now it's time for bed. I'm gonna put footage on my hard drive and call it a night. Uh, tonight I think I'm gonna layer up extra good because it's been getting really goddamn cold at night. It's already really cold. Once that sun goes behind the trees, it is no longer a desert. It becomes just fucking freezing. So I think tonight's gonna be long underwear and pants and the down jacket and the hat and the hoodie and whatever the fuck it is I'm wearing underneath this. Um, and the socks, just to try and stave it off. But today was a good day. Today was a long day. I really did a fucking lot today. Bummed that we couldn't get to Claremont, but I suppose that in an alternate universe, you know, a different version of Milo is probably very happy that he doesn't have to deal with uh, legal charges. So I guess that's good. But yeah, day seven, one week on the road. And frankly, I'm having the time of my life. This is fucking great. The little setbacks are nothing in comparison to how much fun I'm having. So, and we're making headway. We're making progress. I'm on track. I'm on schedule. I haven't been able to do as many sites as I was originally hoping, but got a good one planned out for tomorrow and uh, we're back at it. So yeah. Well, good night travelers until tomorrow. <laughs>